advanced transthoracic echocardiography is useful for diagnosing mitral stenosis. Indeed, 2D and 3D transthoracic echocardiography can evaluate degree and mechanism of a mitral stenosis, even in difficult cases. This is a case of a patient with rheumatic mitral stenosis, and these are the values for diagnosing mild, moderate, or severe mitral stenosis. With 2D transthoracic echocardiography, we can evaluate the morphology of the valve, leaflets, edges, fusion of the commissures, and calcific deposits. Furthermore, we can evaluate the presence of specific sign, such as the diastolic dooming of anterior mitral leaflet. For assessment of severity, it is central the anatomic area by planimetry and 2D planimetry is the reference method. Estimation of the mitral valve area can be performed with pressure half time. Finally, two other elements to evaluate are mean pressure gradient and pulmonary artery pressure. With 3D transthoracic echocardiography, it is possible to calculate the planimetry with the biplane modality or with 3D zoom mode or full volume acquisition focused on mitral valve. Furthermore, planimetry of the mitral valve orifice can be performed using multi slides. Finally, with 3D transthoracic echocardiography, it is possible to evaluate the morphology of the valve and all its characteristics. Finally, considering three variables according to the guidelines, in this case the patient presents a moderate rheumatic mitral stenosis.